2023 is going to be another big year in space. Expect to see more amazing discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope and the launch of new missions to Jupiter and a world made of metal. The European Space Agency's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE, is set to launch between April 5th and 25th. Once it reaches Jupiter in July 2031, it will spend three years exploring the gas giant and three of its large moons, Ganymede, Callisto and Europa. All three are thought to have oceans beneath their icy crusts, and scientists want to investigate whether Ganymede's ocean in particular like that of Europa, is potentially habitable. NASA's first spacecraft to study a metallic asteroid is set to launch in October. The Psyche mission will set off on a four-year journey to an unexplored potato-shaped world in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Psyche is thought to be a leftover core from a planet or a piece of primordial material that never melted. The spacecraft could help astronomers learn more about the formation of our solar system. If Psyche really is an exposed core, studying it would be like peering into the heart of our own planet. Still on the subject of asteroids, a collection of rocks and soil from the near-Earth asteroid Bennu will finally reach their destination this year when NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft drops them off as it flies by. The spacecraft, NASA's first asteroid sample return mission, made history when it successfully collected a sample from Bennu in October 2020. OSIRIS-REx will swing by Earth in September and drop the sample, containing just over two ounces of material from the surface of Bennu, at the Utah Test and Training Range. All being well, the spacecraft will then start on a new expedition to study other asteroids. NASA will partner with the Japanese and European space agencies on the X-ray Imaging and Spectroscopy mission to investigate cosmic X-ray objects. And the European Space Agency and NASA will team up on the Euclid mission to explore dark energy, the as yet unexplained form of energy that is accelerating the expansion of the universe. Closer to home, work continues to establish a human presence on the moon. Last year saw the inaugural mission of the Artemis program with a test flight that sent an uncrewed spacecraft on a journey around the moon. The first mission with humans aboard, again a lunar orbital journey, is scheduled for early 2024. But this year, we'll see a number of robotic missions to study further the lunar terrain and radiation environment and search for resources that could potentially be mined and used to power exploration deeper into space. The so-called Commercial Lunar Payload Services program involves partnerships between NASA and more than a dozen companies that are privately developing their own lunar landers. The first lunar lander to fly under the program could be one built by Pennsylvania-based Astrobotic, which is slated to use its Peregrine lunar lander to carry 11 instruments to the lunar surface in the first few months of 2023. It'll land at a crater called Larcus Mortis. Up to three other missions in the program could depart this year. In addition, NASA's Lunar Trailblazer satellite will gather more data on the amount of water on the Moon. Boeing has been working for the past 10 years to develop a spacecraft capable of carrying astronauts to and from the International Space Station, and this year it expects its new space taxi to be up and running. Starliner carried out a successful uncrewed test mission last May, and NASA has its sights set on April for the first crewed launch. Last but not least, SpaceX is expected to attempt the first orbital launch of its huge Starship spacecraft. The company hopes to one day use the vehicle to put the first humans on Mars. So get strapped in and ready, because this year is going to be an interesting ride.